Howdy folks, I'm Keith Bowen. This is Hard Rock University. And we're out here at the uh, tailings pad doing a little testing here. And the noise in the background is the cement mixer uh, making more solution for us here. Now yesterday I got this section of pad ready to go and uh, poured some of our nastiness, some slop on there to see how well it would filter, etc. Now you can look at the end of that pipe and see none of it came out. So there wasn't enough liquid at enough speed to uh, um, get through the system. So I'm going to go ahead and take these clays and fines, just peel those up right now, put them in a bucket, and try a few little tests before I uh, deal with that cement mixer full of uh, material. But the idea is we have a grid of pipes underneath the uh, this here. On top of each pipe we have another strip of fabric. Let's see if we can show it here. There's another strip of fabric, another strip this way, and then we've kind of bedded it with this. Uh, it's almost a hundred mesh sand basically. Those tailings from last year and those were the things that settled, so they're much coarser to act as kind of a sand bed filter. We're testing how things are going to work, make sure that the whole plan will work properly. One thing that I've noticed was yesterday, see how that's kind of hydrophobic there? How it's beating up the water. Well, that's not very good for a filter. But it looks like over here Now, I still got some of that. I tried over here and as you can see it penetrated a little better. So I'm to see if just a little bit of pretreatment with uh, some uh, soap, a little Dawn detergent, will help things out. Now, let me get on this and get back to you shortly. Okay, so I'm getting ready to dump the cement mixer into the wheelbarrow. I'm letting it roll so that we get as much out as easy as possible. And we'll settle it in the wheelbarrow for a while before we do anything else. The idea is to get coarser tailings in the wheelbarrow, which we can lay down first, then put the slimes on top, and I'll show you why in just a second. got us essentially 100% everything out of the cement mixer. This is the tricky part. You see how it's already settling there. And we'll just let that sit for about 10 minutes, and then we'll come back to it. Now, come on over here. Mm -hmm. 
Now we just poured this kind of slop in this test cell. This was built up with tailings from before. And what happens is the coarser material sinks to the bottom real quick and then the slime settle on top and form this layer. Now this layer is not going to be very permeable so I'm going to go ahead and peel it off and put it in a bucket for now. I'll maybe deal with it later in the bucket. And we'll go ahead and use this sand bed. This is what we really want on the bottom because that will allow percolation of the water or the solutions to the pipes. And that's what we're working on right now is getting that to occur. Right now we have very little tailings to begin with so we're kinda working from scratch here. After a while we'll have quite a bit of sand tailings and those will be able to bed more pipes as we lay it out down there. But you can see the difference in the material there. So we're going to go ahead and let that settle and we'll pour it in here. In the meantime let me show you what we did with this fabric. Now one end of this fabric, and quite frankly I can't remember which end. I think it was the pointy end, Bear. I think it was the pointy end too. Was treated with a little bit of dish soap and water and allowed to dry. And I think you can, well let's see, can you? Let's go over here in the light. Not very well. It's not that visible. How about on this side? Oh yeah. It's a lot more visible on this side. See how the water went right through up to here? Take a look. It's wet further over, but not there. So we're going to use just a little bit of soapy water first on the fabric before we uh, install it so that we've got good percolation. That's going to be critical. How are we going to treat what's already installed? I'm just going to put a little bit on there, kind of, we could spray it on. I don't believe there's any hazard to the um, solution and the extraction processes from a little bit of detergent but I'm not sure I'm going to try and keep it to an absolute minimum and then anything further on that we do we'll pre-treat first okay so let me get a little more tailings over here so we can bed these and then we'll get on it now for those who are curious I've taken a grinder and cut slots in the bottom of these pipes to help move the liquid. These are basically perf pipes, but it's a lot cheaper than buying. I don't even know if you can buy three quarter inch perf pipe. Certainly don't need anything any larger. We've got the pipes underneath a layer of geotextile, then a sand bed. And a grasshopper. And we take it this way. Tuck this under. And when we bring the next cell out here, we'll go ahead and slide the fabric underneath. 
right here. Goes like that for the moment. And this tailings from last year. And we'll provide filtering once it actually gets used. Until then, it helps hold everything down. And once we get the pad really filling with stuff, then we can use this year's tailings. That is the evil plan. Now we'll see if it survives contact with reality. Get that sand bed up there to help act as a filter. Now, let's go over here to the wheelbarrow. You gotta come a little bit further forward, you're starting to show. Now we're starting to dump some mud. I'm gonna go ahead and dump that thin mud. coming out from inside that mud? Yes, it looks like it is. Okay, good. That's solution. Some of it's kind of running off the top. It's making weird little channels. Yeah. But it's still draining. Tilt it just a little bit more. Yep, it's definitely internally draining there. Yep. Okay, now you're getting plops. Okay. Now we can take this over to here. See, this is fairly fine stuff here, but you can still see a little bit of a texture. As soon as you get just underneath the surface, this stuff here, you can see that texture. It's like a fine beach sand. See how it kind of goes dry when you move it? Well, that should theoretically have reasonable percolation rates. So I'm going to cover this, take a look at how coarse that is here. That's going to have real good percolation. Oh. 
Putting this on top of some coarser stuff. Reminds me of confectioner sugar frosting. See how quickly that dries out? That's some pretty good percolation there. Are we going to put some on the other side today too? No. Trying to get this one cell fully prepped. We're doing our electrolytic testing right now and trying to get it dialed in. Once we get that figured out, I'll show you what it looks like. Now how do you know how thick to make your initial bed? Well I'm just putting a fairly thick bed there. I, I don't know what optimum is. I'm just trying to guess. How do you determine optimum at the big mines? <laughs> they just use a lot thicker bed of coarser material. They're not playing games like we are. Now this is not something that's going to happen fast. But you do have lots of time. And that's the key. Well, things seem to be working pretty well. We have a little... Oh, where is it? Yeah, this right here was right at the water line about half an hour, hour, about an hour ago, I guess. And we have water running out here. It's kind of stopped trickling now, but no, oh, there it is, right there. It's got a little trickle. Running right down into the sump to where it can be recovered. Look how clear it is there. Yeah. And you'll notice it's filtered nice and clear, too, through that sand. So when you're doing significant tonnage, this becomes your filtration system also. And, uh, then you're dealing with nice clear solution. Right now in the electrolytic cell I'm dealing with anything but clear solution. So anyhow, things are proceeding apace, solving problems one by one, and uh, getting things kind of organized over here. As you can see we've moved the cement mixer now, got it raised up to where the wheelbarrow will go right under it. Then move just a short distance to do what needs to be done. The cinder blocks were my idea. Yep, Eva came up with that. So anyhow. Hi everybody. <laughs> so, happy prospecting and keep it safe out there. <laughs>